hello friends so in this video we are going to discuss another basic uh, elementary signal function which is the sync function okay so the sync function is represented as t as this sine by t by by t this is the mathematical representation of the sync function now let us see how the sync function actually looks like okay this is the time axis and this is the amplitude axis. So, the sync function actually looks like this. If we further increase this time axis, this and here also exactly the symmetric my drawing skills are not that good okay this this is the representation the waveform of the sync function this is the time and this is the amplitude okay now the value at t equals to 0 is 1. So, as you can see the amplitude the magnitude of the, ma the magnitude of the amplitude is continuously decreasing as time is progressing on both sides ok. The amplitude is constantly decreasing. Now, how do we know that at t equals to 0 the value of the sync function is 1 ok ok let us find out that. So, at t equals to 0, if we put t equals to 0 here, it will be sin 0 by pi into 0 which is 0. We know sin 0 is equal to 0. So, we get the 0 by 0 form. Now, we know from basic uh, high school mathematics. So, when 0 by 0 form, form comes, we use the L hospitals rule. Okay? We use the L hospitals rule. So, what we do? We differentiate both the numerator and the denominator. Okay, d by dt of sin pi t by d by dt of pi t. Okay, so what we'll get? We'll get pi cos pi t by pi, pi pi will get cancelled, we will get cos pi t. Now, cos pi t at t equals to 0 is cos 0 which is equal to 1. Okay? So, at t equals to 0, the amplitude of this function, the value of this function is equal to 1. Now, these points Okay, these points, these are the points where the value of t is any integer. Okay, these are the points, the value of t is any integer and they are called as zero crossing points. Okay, zero crossing points, these points. Okay, again, these, these, these are all zero crossing points. So it means when the value of t is any integer, be it plus minus one, plus minus two, plus minus three, plus minus n, it becomes sine. Let's say n pi plus minus n pi. Okay by 
plus minus n pi. So, sin n pi is 0, we know. So, 0 by anything it becomes plus minus n pi, it becomes 0. So, these are the 0 crossing points where the value of the sinc function is 0 and it occurs at the value of t equal to any positive or negative integer. Okay? So, this is the sinc function. So, first we determine the value of the sinc function at t equals to 0, which is the peak amplitude, which is equal to 1 using L hospital rule. So, the value of the sinc function at t equals to 0 is 1, that is the first important point. The second important point is that as time progresses in both positive and negative directions, the amplitude of the sinc function is constantly decreasing. Okay, that is the second important point. And the third important point is these zero crossing points. It means that when the value of t is equal to any positive or negative integer, that is plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, or any integer positive or negative, the value of the sinc function is equal to 0, which is marked by these zero crossing points. Okay, so here it is plus 1, here it is plus 2. It is plus 3, here it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Okay, so this is the sinc function. Okay. So, in the same breath, let us discuss about another signal function which is very much similar to the sinc function. It is actually derived from it, we can exactly plot it using the sinc function which is the sampling function, okay, the sampling function. It is very much similar to the sinc function. So, the sampling function is actually written as sin t by t, okay. This is the mathematical representation of the sampling function and the waveform is also the same as that of sinc function, the same waveform means like this, here also it is 1 at t equals to 0, the, const, the amplitudes constantly drop keep on decreasing as time progresses in both positive and negative axis and these are the zero crossing points. But here the zero crossing points occur at multiple of pi. So, plus pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, here it is minus pi, here it is minus uh, 2 pi, here it is minus 3 pi and so on. So, the sampling function when we put pi t instead of t that is sampling function of pi t we get sin pi t pi pi t which is nothing but the sinc function. Okay? If we put pi t instead of t, we will get the sinc function. So, sampling function as a function of pi t gives us the sinc function. And another important thing to remember is that the limit of t is from minus phi to plus phi, okay? from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay? So, this is all about the sinc and the sampling function. I also discussed the sampling function in the same video because they are almost same. Okay, the sinc and the sampling function only just a minor, minor uh, change that we have to do. Okay, so the same thing. Okay, so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation, communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.